Hello, Shalom Victor Sajo. Well, welcome to KICC The Open Door. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. Oh, it's great to be here. What makes you a regular gospel artist, contemporary gospel artist, coming regularly year after year to KICC The Open Doors, watching that concert? What motivates you to come year after year? What motivates me to come actually is I'm invited to come year after year and it's an honour to be invited, I mean, when you invited to the first, the first time, a second time, you realize that it has to be God. And I see it as a great honor. I do not take it for granted at all. Awesome, that's fantastic. You can see it more like a domino, domino effect, like okay. a ripple effect. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our next question would be, when did you first start your musical career? Hmm, mom said I'd always loved singing and dancing from age three. Um, but things began to grow. I gave my life to Christ in 1987 and almost immediately was drafted into the choir wow. to lead worship, you know, because I went to do my A-levels then. And ever since, um, I've been involved in the choir and things. But it really kicked off when I released my album about, I think it was my first album. I can't remember the year, God help me I but it was, it was 2008 oh my goodness and it was titled all about you oh my you goodness need to check that out it's God a fantastic album <laughs> fantastic so when that was released i began to get invitations from outside my home church to come and you know minister and that's how we really kicked off you've recently released a live album yes which is titled as love demands correct what made you do a live album rather than a studio album because a live album live albums usually give people that sense of expectancy as if they were there mm. so either while they're listening to it at home in the kitchen or mm. whilst they're driving mm. or just walking in there on their phones mm. they can enjoy that live mm. vibe mm. what made you go into producing a live album rather than just a studio album. yeah yeah to be honest what it was i began to get requests from people funny enough one of them is my big brother pastor dipo luyomi he said to me look your first album it's all about you beautiful nice but the next one shola has to be a live recording people need to get who shola is on stage because you see the truth of the matter is when you do a recording in studio it can be limiting sort of you're so particular about the vocals and how this is mixed and all that but when it's live hey you take it raw <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. so yeah that's what motivated me to go the live route and i'm glad i did awesome. how do you carry congregations in unique contemporary worship songs because you're very contemporary gospel artist in the sense that you have a unique flair of your praise and worship one of my favorite songs are turn to me and smile which is just i know when it came out it was very not a lot of people got it but now that we, we sing it commonly i sing it a lot to myself as well Amen. so it's a lovely song and you've written other songs so yeah. how do you bring an usher a, con a congregation that have never heard the new song and bring them into the presence of the Lord. How do you ask them? Okay, that I see myself, I am actually a worshipper who happens to be a worship leader. That's always where I start from. So if you are not a worshipper, you cannot carry people along. You cannot take people to where you have not been. And it's the love of God that motivates me to worship and then to lead others into worship. So it's not really in my strength. I remember, I, I think it was Pastor Dickboard those days, because he used to be our choir leader. Wow. Wake, back, wake back then and he used to say to us you do what you're supposed to do you worship God carry people along but you worship God others will be compelled to enter into worship as well obviously your heart has to be right and the yes. focus you need to realize it's all about God you know so you, God motivates me love for him motivates me but I love to worship that's my language that's my love language oh, that's very, very touching. I just feel like, oh, the love of God is just in the room already. <laughs> okay, and our, our next question would be, you've just released a fantastic video mm. titled As Love Demands. That's right. And I would suggest you would just tell us more about it. Tell us the concept of As Love Demands, what motivated you to produce this fantastic video because I've seen it and it was and you were in it <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was a fantastic and i really enjoyed it what yeah. motivated you to do a music video now that you've done the audio part what made you do to launch out and branch out to digital like live tv 
recording a music video so that people could see mm. Shola Victor Shadjo. Mm. Let me rewind a bit. As Love Demands was a love project, um, I remember a gentleman who was told to introduce me at an event, um, at, a, at an event, and when he was asked to introduce me, he said, "This is Shola Victor Shadjo. She's a God lover." And um, I thought, yeah, that's who I am. I love God. I love God above all. You know, he's my everything. And um, we wrote songs, we put everything in an album. But I also thought, okay, we wanted to teach people what As Love Demands was all about. What's the concept? The concept is actually to usher people into worship, into the love of God, because you'd see different people. Some people were like nonchalant, there were different attitudes, but at the end of it, everyone joined into worship. Truth is, in church, many people come in belabored with their issues. Some probably just fought their wives at home. Some have <laughs> issues, some are just tired. I remember a guy walking up to me one day and said, you. Every time you lead worship, I'm angry with you. I'm like, ah, why? What did I do to you? He said, because when I'm coming from work, I am all tired and angry. I don't want to worship. But when I get to church and I see you worshiping God, I have no choice but to worship. And really, our maker deserves our utmost worship. So it was more like a vehicle with which to show people, you know, let love, the love of God, motivate you to worship. Don't put anything before God. He deserves first place. Awesome. Wow. So what are your plans for 2015 and beyond and where can your fans contact you? We're trusting God uh, for more videos in 2015. I'm collaborating with uh, a young lady in January. We are doing a theatre production titled The Secret Ex Escape. I'm actually acting. Wow, that was my first acting role. It's a musical theatre production and we intend to do a lot more videos, a lot more seminars and conferences, a lot, trusting God to open more doors for travel, etc. Awesome. Fantastic. So where can people contact you via social media? Because we know we're growing in a digital world now. Yeah. So where can they contact you? Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Amazon? Mm. Yes, I'm on Twitter, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, uh, www.shalavitosajowa.com, that's my website, it's been built up at the moment, rebuilt, because we want to come up with more, more information about what we're up to, okay. but yeah, that's how they can get me. Awesome, fantastic, thank you very much, Shirley Victor thank Sajowa, you, thank we you. hope you enjoy your evening. Tonight. Will do, thank you so much, thank you. God bless you. God is still God. God is still God, God is still God, you say, He's still God. God is still God, God is still God, God is still God. He's still God. God is still God. He's still God. God is still God.
So when you receive that letter or somebody dares to tamper with what God has promised you, hey, God is still God, God is still God, God is still God. You say, He's still God, God is still God, God is still God, God is still God, He's still God, God is still God, God is still God. God is still God. You say, He's still God. God is still God. God is still God. God is still God. He's still God. Somebody give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're still God. 